everybody this is city readings and hi taurus let's see what messages will show up for you guys now what do we have for taurus sun moon rising and venus signs okay oh heart chakra came out of the deck all right, so Taurus, in case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, what are their next moves towards you, outcome advice, love notes, and guidance from spirit. So do check it out. It will be linked below, okay? Let's see, what do we have for Taurus, please? Wow. Then you have the harfen at the bottom of the deck. Did you recently walk away from something? You stood up for yourself. This is the magician card, being aware. Wow. This is a powerful message and I'm getting, you know, spiritual vibes from this, okay? Some of you could be into spirituality, but let's see. What do we have for Taurus? I am going to read for you what those cards are saying towards the end of the reading, okay? What do we have for Taurus, please? god okay so you have new <laughs> look at this new person they don't want to see you with someone else so there's oh i want you oh my god dreaming about you looking at your social media and missing you and then we have soulmates so taurus there's somebody who is damn attracted to you this person is fantasizing about you they're thinking about you this card can tell um, this card barely comes out, okay? <laughs> this is somebody who really wants to get close to you, okay? And they don't want to see you with anybody else. This could be a new person. Oh my god, the energies are intense, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. You and your loved ones are safe. Things are moving forward. Ace of Wands and getting hot and heavy. <laughs> okay. Show me what's there for Taurus. Show me what's there for Taurus, please. go i do feel like you decided to avoid somebody you decided to back off from a situation and you chose yourself over a certain situation and the thing is that you backed off from a situation because it used to confuse you anyway okay 
I see that your guard is up. Some of you may have deleted or blocked somebody, okay? Um, I do see that there are options in love for you, but it's not like you're wanting to really engage in this just yet. I see you in your own vibe, in your own energy. Look at that Ten of Pentacles, and the card literally says wealth. A lot of you are manifesting money, Taurus. Uh, Long-term stability is where your focus is at. Your work, look at that, your work. And, you know, putting effort towards what you feel like is going to benefit you in the long run. You're not wanting to waste your time on trivial things, okay? Um, the Sun card, happiness, expansion, joy. I mean, look at this. Ooh, whoever you're dealing with, they initially walked away from you, didn't they? And now that you're moving on victory success let's see i feel like at times you don't trust your intuition and that is where the problem is because it almost looks like your intuition or there are answers that are coming from within but oftentimes uh taurus you're not letting those answers um come to the surface okay Advice here is the Knight of Pentacles. Take things slow. Do things one day at a time. Where do I put it? Let me actually put it here. Okay. Let's clarify things. Show me the Two of Swords. Show me the Two of Swords. What is the Two of Swords doing here for Taurus, please? Page of Swords. To me, it looks like uh, when it comes to a certain relationship, there was a lot of back and forth, okay? And then you, you decided to cut your losses because it's like... You decided to avoid a situation because you knew what you brought to the table. And I feel like there is a certain level of maturity that you expect from another person, which maybe was missing. Okay. You have Page of Cups, the Sun and the Three of Pentacles coming up for you in the future. There's somebody who adores you or who admires you actually. Because it's like this person looks at you and they're like, damn, you know, like, look at Taurus. For them, it's like you have it together. Okay. There could also be a work-related partnership that's going to go in your favor. This energy to me is screaming a good news. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles and then the, you have Three of Pentacles right next to the Ten of Pentacles. This is something work-related. Temperance, something you've been very patiently waiting for, something you have patiently worked hard on. Um, I kind of feel like for a lot of you when it comes to money and wealth and things like that it is coming to you but it is coming in its own you know at its own pace um, I'm hearing don't give up this is also a relationship high priestess again something about your intuition six of wands Taurus, I'm, I'm kind of getting that you're somebody like a lot of people have their eyes on you. Okay. Um, what is the sun card bringing for Taurus? What is this good news or happiness about? Show me. That's nice. It's like if somebody's true colors were revealed to you, that was your biggest blessing. You got to know who somebody was and you decided to cut that situation out. And it almost looks like, um, it's like being happy alone. 
kind of an energy, the devil. It looks like Taurus, you recognize that the very thing that's making me happy is also, is also the very thing that is toxic for me. And that awareness right there, it takes you, it takes you to the point of healing. And that is where your healing starts. Okay. Show me the magician and eight of cups with the hangman. I feel like you dealt with a person. Yeah, look at this. They're so confused. They're so confused. I, I'm getting that, um, Taurus, you're going to have options in love okay because there's somebody who's very confused and then there's somebody who's very adamant about wanting you okay because to me it looks like this person backed off from you before because we have hangman energy so things didn't really move forward between this person and you and then you know it's like now this person's reconsidering things and over here it's almost like an energy of a new person too and this is not looking like a new person. This is somebody there has been some form of an ending with or somebody that you're resisting. Look at this. You know, you, you feel like this situation is going to bring you pain and worry. So what's the point of investing into this? Six of swords, six of wands, moving on, moving towards calmer waters. Okay, six of wands, victory, success. This card literally says victory. Look at this. Show me more. Going through a big transformation. And it's like, I'm fine being single. I'm fine being happy on my own, you know. Nine of Cups is an energy of coming from a place of, you know, authenticity where he knows that he's happy there. Okay. What is the advice for Taurus from the reading? World card. There is an ending here. A cycle is coming to an end. But every time the world card appears, I tell you guys that there are new opportunities surrounding you. But the world card oftentimes represents that, you know, you need, you need to shut that door. Okay? You need to shut a door and you need to open another one. Okay? So let's read for you awareness and then heart chakra. And I am going to be linking um, your extended underneath the video to know how is your person thinking feeling about you their next moves outcome advice love notes guidance from spirit and your future love so do check it out it will be linked below for you guys okay uh, this card is one of the key reminders that you already possess all of the tools to guide and direct you in your life whether it's wisdom intuition psychic skill creativity self-motivation love willpower physical ability or just pure courage they all are a part of you. Once you learn to tap into that energy and use it, you'll be amazed by the power and effect they can have on you. This card represents your ability to create your own reality, to set ideas into motion and watch them grow. This card is often drawn when you're ready to switch direction, start a new project or change careers. Now is the time to use positive thoughts, visualizations and affirmations as you wear away from negativity. Cool. Let's read for you Heart Chakra to close off your reading. Parallel to the heart, this chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It is believed to be the link between your mind, body, and soul. Balancing this area may take a while, but you should allow all the time that you need so the healing energy can get through and flow freely. By loving yourself and others, as well as learning forgiveness, you'll become more attuned with spirit. So that is it, um, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the extended link below for further details about the person you're connecting with. And bonus messages that I might have not picked up on in this read. Take care and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.